Hi folks this is Dr V Sivaramakrishnan from SRM IST presenting you this video on nuclear mitochondrial staining of cells In this experiment we shall stain the nucleus and the mitochondria of adherent cells and view it using fluorescent microscope Propenium iodide the first fluorescent dye which you are which you are going to use in this experiment it binds to the nucleus particularly since it is a dna intercalating agent however it cannot cross the cell membrane so thereby it can actually stain only preferably the dead cells and not the live cells it appears red in color when visualized under the microscope the second dye rhodamine 123 is said to be lipid soluble and hence it can actually cross the cell membrane and this is incorporated particularly in the mitochondria in a manner which is dependent on the mitochondrial transmembrane potential this particular dye is said to be a uh, permeable to the cell membrane it appears yellowish green in color when visualized under the microscope in this experiment we are going to use the cell suspension of a549 cells these are lung adenocarcinoma cells in addition we would also require petri plates slides and cover slips and the forceps the reagents used in this experiment include the selective media made from dmem and 10% fps and penicillin streptomycin at a concentration of 1% in addition sterile pvs is used for washing the cells and for fixing the cells we can use either methanol which is at made at 100% or the 4% para formaldehyde the stock of the fluorescent dyes propenium iodide and rhodamine 1 to 3 as mentioned over here in the concentrations are prepared and from them the working standard of the fluorescent dyes as shown over here is prepared and used in the experiment the first step is to actually disinfect the working area i am going to spill some amount of ethanol 70% ethanol and then wipe the working space first step is to take a cover slip and place it inside a petri plate the first step is to actually take 500 to 1000 cells and then see on to the cover slip so here i am going to take 50 microliters of cells from the cell suspension and i am going to see on to the cover slip to the seeded cells of 50 microliter of cell suspension i am going to add 2 ml of the prepared dm em media this should be done in a gradual manner gently we need to gently start to encircle this once and twice so that the cells get equally dispersed label the cells what is the purpose you are doing and as well as the date now place the cells overnight for incubation for the cells to proliferate and as well as to adhere in the carbon dioxide incubator after overnight incubation we shall take the seeded cells on to the cover slip within a petri plate and then process it for the fixing of cells let without disturbing the cover slip try to gently remove the media and then discard it
take a new tip and then immediately add 1 ml of methanol which is 100 percentage over the cover slip to fix the cells leave it for incubation for 5 minutes we have the two dyes which we'll be using for this experiment so the first dye is propidium iodide and the second one is rhodamide 1 2 hence for the reaction can be actually done outside the bio safety cabinet you don't need to keep the cells within the bio safety cabinet to process it further but you have to remember that both of these dyes are light sensitive and you have to actually keep it in dark while you are performing this reaction Both the fluorescent dyes, propidium iodide and as well as rhodamine, the powder should be weighed and it should be dissolved in PBS, uh, and it it is made up to one ml. Now, after the completion of the incubation for the methanol fixing of cells, I am just going to remove the excess methanol that is basically present. and then discard it without disturbing disturbing the cover slip first i will add 1 ml of propidium iodide then 1 ml of rhodamine 1 2 3 is added so that the total volume is 2 ml on the petri plate try to gently encircle the petri plate so that the cells are equally stained the cells will be incubated for 20 minutes the dye now will be discarded and the pbs wash will be provided After removing the dye, one ml of PBS is used to wash the excess stain. Then the excess one x PBS is removed and discarded.
add 50 microliter of PBS onto the glass slide. Take the cover slip, invert it and then gently try to place it so that there are no air bubbles onto a place the cover slip onto a slide which has 50 microliters of your PVA solution. Label the glass slide along with the cover slip as shown here. Fluorescence microscopy visualizes images of A549 cells stained with propidium iodide and rhodamine 123 and their respective wavelengths are shown over here. Thank you for patiently listening.